Exodus the 14th chapter. Exodus the 14th chapter. And the record says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and hearing of the truth. Now, it's holy that the church say amen. Amen. We're going to use for all topic on this morning. I made it on broken pieces. Turn to us and make it. I made it on broken pieces. Come on, open up your mouth and look to somebody and say, neighbor, you made it on broken pieces. And look at the person behind you and say, neighbor, you made it on broken pieces. And come on, put your hand together. Come on, put your hand together. Let's let Lord say thank you. Thank you, Lord, because you're good. Thank you, Lord, because you're kind. Lord, sit on your own to the mix just and ease over the minds and hearts and ears of the people that they clearly receive the word. Don't make stop your flow. Need to power now, God, need to grace now. I'm a sinner, that's my dreams. I'm a sinner. Saved by your living grace. So, God, as you preach, I can't hear a word from you. Come back, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Then we call it say, Amen. I made it on broken pieces. Family, for some of us, life was not presented to us on a silver platter. Uh, we, we didn't have a money tree growing in our backyards. Uh, some of us were not afforded the opportunity to have an expense-paid life. But for some of us, every inch of success came from dedication and hard work. Amen. And we're doing the show, up, 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 sometimes the show of progression and how we excel in life. Let's be honest, sometimes we had to go through moments on broken pieces. Broken relationships, broken finances, broken self-esteem, uh, broken personal connections. But despite how broken they are, we still survived on broken pieces. And I wonder if the people right now will mind me honest this morning to thank God. And Lord, I thank you. You, I can admit that there were some times when the fragmented elements of my life were all scattered all around me. But I still managed to survive on broken pieces. Anybody here want to thank God now? I, I'm going through some things, Christ, in my life, but I survived on broken pieces. People don't know my struggle. People don't know what I've had to go through. People don't understand how much it took for me to survive everything I've been through. But thank God. I survived uh, on broken pieces. Touch your mind and say, you survived. Through, through all the storm, through all the difficulty, you survived uh, on broken pieces. Now let me remind you, because true survival is in coming out successful uh, with everything I have. No, real survival uh, depicts a person that barely had anything to work with uh, and still managed to make it out on top. I need somebody in the building right now to look back on your life uh, and say, Pastor, I didn't have everything I needed, but I still made it. I had some things that were not adding up in my life, but I still made it. I didn't have everything I need, but somehow I still worked things out in my life. And you can look at me crazy all you want you in the building. Because there's some honest people in the building right now to thank the Lord. I thank it. But there was some time, I don't know how I was going to make it this year, but somehow I still made it out on top. And to the person next to you don't understand why you're praising God so early in the sermon. The person sitting behind you don't understand why your hand is lifted up in their face. But if you knew my story, I'm talking to me here. If you knew what I had to go through to get where I am, you would understand that I'm going to bless the Lord. I Who don't know? Sometimes you don't know how your next meal gonna come from. 
from But you still need to pass I didn't have your clothes To go to the store and buy But I went to the sink And washed up what I had And hung it on the hanger in the bathroom And put some starch in my closet And pulled my mind on it You will never know the difference Somehow I still need it You didn't have much But you were still able to bless someone Who you didn't have what you needed to have You still made it You didn't have all your needs weren't met But there are people around I got stretched in front of me. 
now. I must do less crying yeah. and more thinking. Yeah. I'm not talking about the Bible. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? First point I want to get to is uh, sometimes you have to do less crying and more thinking. Somebody said less crying and more thinking. Somebody said less crying and more thinking. And the more you say that, the only thinking part of you, you have to get bigger. 